Hello there, viewers. Maybe wondering what's this? And uh, no, not an LP. Not by a long shot. Although I say about, um, 3 out of 10. Only 3 out of 10 chance that I may LP this game one day. And I'll show you why it's so low. I was considering it as like, oh, the nostalgia of Echo the Dolphin. I remember that game back in the day. And then I also remember, wait a second, I only got through like one or two levels, right? Why is that? I think I'll try out the rest of the game and see what else it's got to offer. Well, I'll just... Right now I'm gonna show you level one. Any second now. Level one is basically piss easy, seriously. And... Uh, fraps don't lag on me this time again. Looks like Fraps hates this game. Might have to use, if I do LP, I'm probably gonna have to use a different recording software for this one. Whatever. Now, to the point, um... Horrible controls. A. How high in the sky can you fly? A allows you to talk to, um... Uh, all the dolphins and stuff like that, and all the whales and all that bollocks. You press B, and you go like that, you can collect fish, you can attack enemies using that, and you can just generally go faster. You keep tapping C, and you go faster. Those are the only controls there really are. Although, there is a point where you learn, like, these sonar things. Also, if you use A on these glyph thingies, which are crystal things, you will, um, open keys or whatever, so that you can get past another glyph. It's kind of weird. This game is trippy as hell. From what I hear, you actually fr this game goes like from innocent dolphin to freaking aliens, time travel, and all that. You wouldn't expect that from a freaking game about a dolphin, but this game is freaking crazy. I've only got to level four so far. Well, level five, I think, and level four. My God, it was frustrating. Anyways, let's try and get through level one here just to show you where things get all the shit. Exact spot now. Don't remember. And that's when the game really begins. So his pod has been stolen. Not his iPod, but his pod is in his family and all that crap. And now he has to go searching for them in the ever so horrifyingly difficult ocean. Filled with deadly crabs, deadly jellyfish, and killer sharks. And then he must go into the past and do some tri time travel shit and then battle aliens. And the funny thing is, I'm not even joking. This guy will tell you all about it. Suddenly, great winds of water. Actually, no, that's not the guy that tells you about it. You're a useless douche, man. I would like go for a bit through level 2. Hell, I could probably complete level 2 without even having to use save states. You see those jellyfish right there? Pain in the ass. Let me show you how you fight them, if I can. Where are they? Yeah, you can do that, but make sure you're not too close to them, otherwise you're kind of screwed. Try again. And the controls can be very unresponsive, especially when you want them to. Okay. Now that I've shown you the basics of this, let me show you why this game is so frustrating. And if back in the day, or any day, that you played this game, also you need air like that. Okay, I'm not sure if the pointer will appear on screen, it probably will. But you see this bar right here? That is the air meter. If that goes down, your health will just start depleting quite fast. This is your health meter right here. So yeah. You gotta watch out for that. And... Yeah. Bubbles can, like, um, replenish your air, and fish replenish your health. But the uh, best way of getting, um, air back is obviously to get back to the surface here. And, yeah. Okay, it's time to show you the horror. This is a safe state from a level, which I think was level 4 or level 5. It is frustrating. 
beyond words. And that music indicates that shit is going down. Now watch this. This is gonna be insane. See? I've got like one hit point left, basically. See? And you die. Broken controls, and you die. It is awful controls. Awful. And you gotta fight against the current or whatever there. And get through there. And you still get raped by a freaking blowfish. That's not the worst part though. There, beyond that, it's much more horrifying. I don't know how I even managed to get through there, honestly, viewers. And look at that. Because of perhaps it's lagging. If the game was lagging like that when I was going through, I'd never get through this game. In fact, I haven't gone through this game yet, but I have gone through this level, so that counts as something. Maybe. See? He's not even doing his freaking dash thing. And when he did, he dies. You see how bad the controls are, you viewers? See how horrible they are, and how much I shouted? It's like playing that I wanna be the guy game or something. I haven't even played that, but I've seen people play it. See, now we've got through here, you'll see why this is horrifying. Wait for it. Crabs of death. And they respawn. Look at that. And you gotta fight against the current and fight a bunch of freaking crabs. It's not freaking right. And if you go too fast, you're gonna run into the freaking things. See where I'm going from here? And look. See? I was almost at the air and that killed me. That was actually what happened to me last time. I barely dodged that one. I had one hit point left. Had to go for the whole rest of the cavern with one hit point left. That's how bad it was. That bad news. That's Echo the Dolphin for you. So if you think any newer game, you just like, the controls here suck. Well, at least they don't suck as bad as Echo the Dolphin's controls. In fair play to the game, it has good atmosphere. It has a nice kind of graphic design to it for the time, I mean, 1992, that's pretty impressive. And, yeah, the atmosphere and all that, it's perfect. Controls failed miserably. This game could have been a lot better, you know. But, then again, yeah, Sega Genesis, what can you expect? Can you expect? Anyway, that's all I've got to say about Echo the Dolphin for now. Might LP it someday, might not, who knows. That is all.